Hey everyone, CPO here, and uh, yeah, it's beautiful out here. So I thought I would come out, enjoy the weather by the pool, and uh, talk holsters with you for a second. So I have two holsters that I've been wearing for a couple of months. Oh gosh, it's been probably six months now, maybe even longer. And uh, I've been wanting to tell you about them, and uh, I also wanted to spend a lot of time with them. And so now's the time, right? So uh, the big reveal. Two holsters, the most comfortable holsters that I own right now, uh, no question, and uh, and they serve two very different purposes. So this first holster right here, uh, TactiPak uh, Max in the waistband holster, this is without a question the most comfortable uh, full Kydax holster on the market, and it's got a soft backing, uh, yet it's full Kydex enclosure. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you this holster in another video, that it'll be a follow-up video. Uh, I actually want to spend some time today talking about the other holster from TactiPak. Uh, TactiPak is, uh, is a really cool company doing some really cool stuff. I hooked up with Anthony. I was actually searching for a specific holster to solve a specific need for me. And uh, there weren't a lot of holster manufacturers out there who had what I wanted or uh, were willing to work with me to come up with something that I wanted. Uh, but Anthony at TactiPak, he nailed it. Now, he didn't develop this holster that I'm about to talk about. For me, he had already developed it for people who are looking for sort of a deep concealment, comfortable, all day uh, carry that doesn't matter what your uh, attire is. So in this case, you can see I'm wearing, you know, sweatpants and a t-shirt. I would have worn shorts, but I didn't want to scare you with my skinny white chicken legs. Truth, that's true. But yeah, oftentimes, particularly in the summertime, I'm just chillaxing and whatever, and I don't necessarily want to put on the instructor gun belt and you know big heavy duty holster. Sometimes I just like to relax in whatever. And so I wanted a holster that I could do that with, yet still carry a Glock 19 with an RMR and suppressor sights. And uh, TactiPak has the solution for that. And so we worked together and I'm proud to say, uh, went back and forth with him for several months, worked to sort of refine the product, um, you know, and I basically became a product tester for him for a little while. So anyway, uh, the holster that I wanna to talk to you about today is the Combat Appendix holster from TactiPak. Uh, what I like about it is uh, I can wear it whenever with whatever and I can wear it all day, and I don't even think twice about it because it's so comfortable. This is it. Actually, this is a Glock 19 with an RMR. This is a spare magazine for said Glock 19. Now that's pretty cool because I'm wearing sweatpants and I don't look like I'm a gun guy, which is kind of the goal. And that's because this holster has its own waist belt. Let me bring you a little bit closer while it's still nice outside. And in a few minutes, we'll go inside and talk shop. All right, so here it is, a little bit closer look. Um, again, I have a Glock 19 with suppressor sights and an RMR. Um, it does fit, what, hold on. Boom, it does fit a standard Glock 19 off the shelf. Um, yeah, perfect, it has retention, so, um, that was one of the key elements. So this is a really unique design, and I'm gonna spend some time on the bench showing you what makes this such a great holster. But this isn't your typical sort of hybrid holster with a Kydex shell and a cloth backing. Uh, this is far more complicated of a design than that. And because of that, far more secure. Again, uh, retention uh, is amazing, but access is uh, quick and smooth. And then you've got the added benefit of having a uh, spare magazine here. So this adjustable Velcro waistband, once you get it set, you can forget it and then just use the snaps to don the holster system, right? And it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. Uh, yeah, it just goes right underneath. So trying to spare you all some uh, horrific views. There you go. I mean, you can't beat it. 
give me a few more minutes to uh, enjoy hanging out by the pool and then uh, we'll go inside and uh, I'll show you this in a little bit more detail. All right, everyone, so this is the combat appendix holster, uh, bench top discussion, and I just wanted to give you a chance to see it up close and personal. Again, this is my cleared uh, Bowie Tactical Concepts Glock 19. I've got an RMR, so as you can see here, I have a uh, specific channel for my suppressor height sights, and then I'm cut nice and low for the RMR. And uh, just because I have it cut for the RMR, obviously does not mean that it's not capable of fitting with my uh, stock Glock 19. So if you're gonna run more than one, feel comfortable uh, that if you get one with suppressor uh, channel and the RMR cut, it's still gonna have the same retention uh, as, uh, as one without. Now you can also get options for weapon mounted light systems. Obviously that changes things a little bit because those tend to use the light for retention. So a little bit different animal. I don't carry a light on my, uh, on my EDC guns. So yeah, not an issue for me. So let me pull this guy out of here. Get that out of the way. And we'll get this out of the way. Spare mag. All right, so as you can see, uh, this is a Kydex shell. And uh, obviously that's gonna give its hard uh, outside exterior um, plus its retention. It is custom molded to fit the gun. And uh, I really like that. But on the back, you have a soft side against your body. And this is a really, uh, a really soft fabric. Uh, as far as um, my experience has shown, it's been uh, fairly breathable and comfortable. These plastic rivets that are used to hold the Kydex um, to, uh, to the rest of the holster um, are sort of recessed, so you don't feel those at all. And then I'll explain this Velcro piece here in a second. That's a, an add-on option that I opted for. Um, so uh, you've got the hard shell, but this isn't just a like cloth liner. Um, actually inside here, it's, it's fairly rigid. It's probably hard to show you. Um, and I'm not definitely not taking apart my holster. Um, you can kind of see there uh, if I fold that over. Inside of here is sandwiched several layers of like a mesh. It's a, a, a plastic poly uh, mesh. It's got a square grid system on it and it allows it to be flexible yet has the properties of a uh, solid back. In other words, there's nothing that can penetrate through there. It's not like cloth. You know, this is this doesn't have that grid system. You can see um, you know, it's uh, quite a bit more flexible, but on the back side of where the gun is, there's literally an insert in there. And that's some of the things that uh, Anthony and I sort of worked through is, from a retention perspective, that's part of what provides retention to the pistol. If you just had a complete soft backing, uh, it would flex too much to adequately hold the pistol. Um, this, uh, you know, this molding here isn't enough. So the gun does rely on the rigidity of that backing piece, which is, um, is embedded sandwiched in between the soft outer core and this thousand denier uh, Cordura uh, front side. So that provides retention as well as uh, safety and security. So, and that's sort of, you know, I told you we went back and forth. Um, this was the first uh, holster he sent me, really cool orange. Uh, actually, I'll explain these here in a second. That's another option that I don't have on this one. Um, and, uh, and the retention wasn't as good. And I, you know, I was honest with him. You know, I'm like, you know, it's just, I like everything about the holster. It just a little bit lighter on retention that I wanted. So, um, so yeah, we worked on it and discussed it and, Really, I didn't do anything. Uh, <laughs> I'm not taking credit for anything. I went through several different iterations. Here's another uh, iteration we had. Um, and this ended up being the final product that's now the one that I carry. And like I said, um, he, he nailed it. Um, as far as that perfect balance between 
flexibility and um, you know retention and access. So it turns out the way this holster is designed, too much retention is a bad thing um, because it's has its own separate belt system and it's literally just resting uh, inside your outerwear. Uh, too much retention means that the whole gun and holster assembly comes out when you do the draw. Of course, too little retention means the gun falls out um, maybe when you don't want it to. So uh, striking that perfect balance um, was the challenge. And again, uh, he nailed it. So uh, who'd have thought that it was gonna be um, that difficult? But uh, anyway, so again, I have the um, suppressor channel. Uh, make sure when you order, you tell him uh, all those options because he will custom mold each holster. There's also um, this magazine pouch, which is perfect. Um, normally I don't carry, when I carry, I carry appendix, of course this is an appendix holster. I don't always carry a spare magazine. Uh, with a gun like the Glock 19, I've got 15 plus one rounds. And for the most part, um, I'm comfortable just carrying that without a spare, unless I'm going to someplace particularly questionable. I'll, uh, I'll throw a spare in the pocket or, or maybe a, a belt uh, holster or something. And then I might keep one in the vehicle. But with this, because of the way it's built into there, um, I find it incredibly comfortable to carry a spare that I carry a spare even when I no wouldn't normally, just because it's so comfortable and, uh, and how it fits. So, um, so yeah, back to this back. There are a couple options. One of the options is for a wedge, and you can see here, I've got the optional wedge here, and he sews the Velcro in when he builds the holster. What the wedge does is uh, pushes against uh, the body, which cants the gun further towards you. So the, uh, the grip of the gun uh, might be forced deeper into your waistline. Um, and I find that does help with concealability and I will wear it from time to time. One of the interesting challenges of having a holster that doesn't use your belt on your pants, you know, a gun belt, which you'd normally have, is, um, you know, the gun belt sort of helps hold everything in, it straps it in. With this, um, you have this waistband. And uh, so little things that help sort of cant the holster, like this um, little wedge here, do sort of help. The problem I have with it is if you wear it for a really long time, and this is true with any wedge system on a holster, I, I have many holsters with wedges, is I develop a little hot spot where I can just feel the pressure of that one spot. So most of the time I run without, and that way the entire holster is, is against my body, and I'm not developing a hot spot with one particular area. But you can uh, get it with the wedge, and the cool thing about it is you get the wedge option, uh, he'll send you the wedge and the Velcro will be added onto here and uh, you can wear it when you want and take it off when you don't. So um, I do go back and forth sometimes on that. The other option, which I don't have on this particular holster, but I did have on the very first go round is an option for the lever. Uh, the lever is actually not installed on this, but I can show you how it works on this other holster. This is the Max that, that I'm gonna review next. And the lever, you might hear this, other holster companies might call it a wing or a wedge or something like that, but it's designed to, um, to, to push, to cant the butt of the gun. So, um, and this also has the option for uh, the wedge. So the wedge pushes it the top, you know, in laterally, and then the, um, the lever uh, cants it uh, on the horizontal axis. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, um, so, but, and that works great with the belt, which is why um, I have it on this holster. But what I found is on this uh, holster that doesn't rely on a belt, the, um, the lever really had less value because it's levering into nothing, my sweatpants. You know, it might be resting on my sweatpants, which isn't enough force to really do anything with it. Um, but it could come in handy if you're wearing a belt outside of your holster and you want to um, take advantage of that lever on the inside. So that's an option. I just chose to not use it. I, um, I got the original one with it because I thought I would 
use it more. And then I realized um, it didn't really matter to me too much. So as we sort of uh, work together, um, I told him, you know, don't worry about the lever on uh, on this holster for me. I don't really need it. So, uh, but I do like that wedge option. The other thing um, that I noticed when uh, when I got this holster is it has the three snaps. Now, obviously, we have a, a two snap system on this, and and so this will fit um, like that or like that. Now, the the traditional sort of straight wear is just like that, and that gets the um, uh, the belt line of the holster down level, you know, with the holster itself. So you wear everything nice and low. And uh, the way this is designed is you can cant it. And I actually misinterpreted why that was like that. So now it hangs down below. What I use this for is I keep the waistline in my normal waist position, but I let the holster hang down lower in the front and it just conceals better. It gets a little bit deeper underneath. Now it makes it a little harder to access because obviously the the um, the grip of the pistol ends up below the waist uh, waistband, a little bit of whatever pants I'm wearing. Uh, but it does get it down nice and low. Uh, it turns out though, that's not why Anthony did that. He did it because um, sometimes if you're wearing tight pants, this wearing this belt underneath your waistline. It doesn't seem like a lot of material until you uh, wrap around the circumference of your body. And then, yeah, it turns out it could make things a little bit more challenging. So he made this snap so that you could raise it up above and that way you can wear it above your belt line if you wanted to. So I thought that was interesting. I actually use it in a different way. And like I said, that's to, uh, to bring the holster down lower in the groin area, uh, which works for me. Uh, I do like the sweat guard. Again, it makes it super comfortable, particularly, you know, this gun with the RMR, um, that will dig into my skin in many holsters, uh, but this sweat guard completely protects my body from that. And then I've got plenty of room to still grip uh, the pistol, which, you know, is critical. Yeah, so this is it, the uh, combat appendix from Tacti-Pak. I mean, I really, really, encourage you to check this out. If you're looking for something that has the ability to be worn all day uh, with the best, I think, the best comfort there is uh, without sacrificing the traditional holster stuff, right? The ability to get a full combat grip on the pistol, the ability to have solid retention, the ability to have a quick draw, like you've got the best of everything. Most holsters that try and flirt in that comfort and concealability arena uh, tend to sacrifice on access and retention and things like that. But this one, uh, like I said, Anthony over at uh, Tacti Pact, I really feel like he nailed this. And uh, this is my go-to. If I'm wearing sweats or shorts or uh, jeans without a belt or you know cargo pants or whatever, um, I, I just throw this on. I, I really do enjoy it. I like the fact that you can set the Velcro where you want it. It doesn't have any sharp edges. I have some other um, similar waistband style holsters and the belt is, uh, has exposed edges of the Velcro and they rub into the skin. This one doesn't give me any discomfort at all. It doesn't rub at all. Um, he really did that right. And then once you set it for your waist size, you just then, you know, use the snap system to take it on and off. I've never had it come off uh, when I wasn't wanting it off, and uh, and it's easy, you know. And so, to be honest with you, when I um, I, I work in a non-pervasive environment uh, federally, so um, yeah, so I can't uh, can't carry all the time uh, as much as I'd want to. But I like to carry to and from work, so sometimes I'll just throw this on. Over, <laughs> over my work pants, you know, and then underneath a jacket just for a quick going, you know, getting in the in the vehicle and uh, driving to work, and then I can have it uh, adjusted high on the waistline as I'm sitting in a car. Uh, and that's the other thing I really like about this. I should I should mention that that I can adjust the the height of this and the location, whether it's you know more centered or more to the side, 
regardless of where my waistband is uh, on my pants. So I have some pants that have a lower waistband and some that have a higher waistband. And if you have a holster, a traditional holster that's attached to your belt, you're dependent a lot of times on that belt height for where the holster is going to end up. But because this is a separate system, it has its own waistband, um, I can ride it lower inside the waistband of my pants or I can pull it up and ride it higher. So when I'm sitting in a vehicle, I'll often push it up so it's higher up in the waistband. Uh, makes it more comfortable for driving and better access when seated. And then uh, if I want deeper concealment, I can push that down a little bit lower. So just some things to consider. But anyway, go check out tacticpack.com. Uh, the guy's awesome. And uh, you know he's a one-man shop. Uh, he's building these custom holsters and I think he's very competitively priced. The, probably the biggest thing is it's gonna take a while, right? He's building these things to order. Uh, you're gonna go to the website, you're gonna set up your options that you want, and then you're gonna have to wait because uh, you know he's, uh, he's building these things and he's got a queue of people who are trying to get this. So don't be surprised if it takes longer than you want it to, uh, but trust me, totally worth the wait. And as you can see here, you can get some really cool color options uh, other than uh, just traditional Kydex. Uh, he does have these carbon fiber looks in different colors. So yeah, play around with that as well. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, next video, I'll cover the Max, which is this guy here. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one.